2019 was the fifth driest year in 70 years at the Panama Canal. Due to changing rainfall patterns and historic low water levels at Gatun Lake, and despite the use of extensive water conservation measures, this past year's rainfall was 20% below the historical average. It follows several years of lower than average rainfall coupled by a 10% increase in water evaporation levels due to a 0.5 to 1.5 degrees Celsius rise in temperature. Recently, the Panama Canal announced it will implement a series of new measures beginning February 15th to sustain an operational level of water and provide reliability to customers while it implements a long-term solution to water. The measures include the following components, such as freshwater surcharge, adjustments to the booking system, and transit itinerary creation fee. The decision to adopt such measures was taken following an evaluation of the impact of innovative techniques already instituted to save water used in the canal's operations. For example, the Panama Canal has been implementing cross-filling lockages. This technique sends water between the two lanes at the Panamax locks during the transits and saves an amount of water equivalent to that used in six lockages each day. The crossfield method is a method that we use when we have a dry season and we pass water from one chamber to the adjacent chamber. And every step in the, in the lock, we uh, prepare the levels to admit this amount of water that in ha have a, a result of the half of use of water for each lock, lockage. The method of the cross filling, uh, the purpose is to save water. Uh, normally, we use uh, about uh, 20, 27 feet of uh, feet of water in each chamber. With the method of the cross filling, we use only in the half of the 27 feet. It's about 13 feet and a half. So that means that in one uh, lockage, uh, we use only the half uh, quantity of water. Other ongoing water saving measures adopted at the Panama Canal include suspension of power generation at the Gatun hydraulic plant, elimination of hydraulic assistance at the Panamax locks, tandem lockages, which involve two ships transiting at the same time when vessel size allows, use of water-saving basins at the Neo Panamax locks. The Panama Canal is committed to saving water and ensuring a safe and reliable operation for its customers. Okay, the Panama Canal personnel, all of those, all of those personnel are really committed uh, with the water conservation. Uh, all of us, uh, not, not only operation, is all of us, the Panama Canal personnel, know that the water is very important for us. The Panama Canal will expand its investment program to include projects focused on addressing the sustainability of the water supply.